All right, starting um, today, we're going to learn about form of function. Um, if you're going to move beyond the conical cone, nose cone to like parabola or, or the power, you definitely need a form of function. So one way of doing is I want to start a sketch on the front view. I want to definitely do that right now and click on that and I found that <clears throat> found out you, you use a spleen or spline so you click on where you want to start it I say I want to start here then you need a point then you need an end point right here so we get to the end point then you press escape okay so from here uh, just say I want to one way to do it is click on the measuring tool. Click on there and you just place it. I just say, okay, I want a function of 10, 10, yeah, tangent or something. And I press enter and I say, okay, of 45. Enter. And you notice that it shrink. Okay. So that's one way. Um, a measurement can be driven by formula or equation. So I click uh, check mark, say yes, I'm happy with it. And that's, that's how you use a formula function. Um, I guess you have to play around with it and figure out what equation you need. And also you can do a comparison if you use SOLIDWORKS. I know SOLIDWORKS use um, formula function. Um, I just demonstrated it. you can use a trigonometry function if you can do that you can pretty much do uh, linear algebra stuff on it and that is it thank you for your time and your attention